I know it's been a while since I put out a new vlog, but things in the world has um, changed, right? <laughs> Everyone is sheltered at home, what have you. But you would think I would have a lot of time to, um, to put a vlog out. But fortunately, I'm one of the ones I, am able, I have been able to work from home. So that I uh, look at that as a blessing. Uh, that is truly a blessing. And because of that, I, I find myself having uh, less time. Because since we are working from home, you have a tendency to work more for whatever reason. Um, but anyway, that's what's sort of been going on. But I'm back at it now. And now I think I have a routine where I can make things work. Uh, as, far as, uh, as far as saving my foot, managing uh, my health. Um, haven't been doing good doing that. Um, actually, I've been bad. I guess uh, with me and sheltered at home, uh, what we've been doing is probably buying a lot of the wrong things. You know, we're having a lot of snacks around the house, you know, because both my wife and I, both of us are working from home. And my son, all of us are working from home, so we have these snacks that we can grab for lunch and keep keep it moving. But that's a, a very, bad habit, very bad habit that uh, we've developed. But we're getting back on track now, but uh, particularly me because of my health issues, I have to get back on track trying to get there. Actually, I just finished up uh, riding my trainer. No, really, I, I, I really did. Actually, this is my second week doing it. I try to do it twice a week, um, but I didn't. I, for, I forgot to take my camera with me after I got on the trainer and stuff. I realized I had been on it about 15 minutes. I realized I didn't have my camera, so... I didn't want to stop, break the mood, and try to start back all over again. So, this is what um, this this is what you get. You're not going to see me I'm um, doing anything, um, I guess, activity wise. But I have been, I have started back doing um, something, um, which is riding my trainer. Also, like my get off the couch is really get off doing something. And what I've been doing um, somewhat since the um, since uh, since Rona has been here. I've been kind of focusing on some of my hobbies. So today, get off the couch. It'd be me repairing um, a speaker. Um, basically, I'm trying to set back up. Since I'm spending a lot of time in my office uh, right now, I'm trying to set everything back up with my turntable, what have you. So one of the speakers, I'm just, it's a bookshelf speaker I had in the uh, basement. I'm just going to kind of set that up in the office, connect it to the turntable and all, see how it all goes. Uh, before we go on to the next thing, um, hey, with Rona, please take this serious. Yeah, I'm not a health person, so, but I'm just a average Joe, you know, is just trying to manage my health. Right now, what's going on? Some of the governors are trying to open back up the states, open back up beaches back in my home state, Florida. Really, um, really doesn't make much sense to me, so. Use your common sense, manage manage your health, use your common sense, what makes sense to you. Um, I saw this one governor, uh, what he said, I think I saw this earlier, 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 earlier last week, he was speaking to his constituents. I think he had a press conference. And basically one of the things he said was, stay your ass home. So stay your ass home. And really um, use your sense. Um, just because they have opened back up beauty shops, barbers, tattoo parlors, don't mean you have to go. It really, um, it really doesn't. Particularly if you're managing um, your health, you have some type of health issue you're dealing with. Like, I'm a diabetic, right? So I really should be more careful about where I go during this time and who I kind of, um, what kind of crowds I get into. I don't get into any crowds, so... If I lived in Florida, I wouldn't be going to the beach. And I think, I forgot what state that opened back up, tattoo parlors, Georgia. If I lived in Georgia, I wouldn't be going to a tattoo parlor, a barber, a hair salon, none of that. Uh, because like I said, I'm in the high risk category. I am a diabetic and I am a little overweight. <laughs> so I don't, I don't need to be at any of those places. So I'm asking you guys that are managing certain health issues, Use your common sense. Um, just because they say you can do it doesn't necessarily mean you have to do it right at this uh, right at this time. Because at the end of the day, regardless of what the economy um, does, if you're not here, if instead of being six feet apart from everyone, if you're six feet under, doesn't even matter what the economy does, right? It doesn't because at that point, uh, you're gone. So use your common sense and 
we'll get through um, Rona. We we'll get through Rona um, together. All right, on to the next stop. Okay, my get off the couch today is a repair job. I'm going to repair some old speakers I had sitting in the basement. Some Boston Acoustics HD5 speakers. Um, like I said in a previous vlog, I'm going to set up my um, office, I guess, slash man cave slash studio. I'm going to set that up with my turntable in here. And right now, I really don't want to put a large investment into it. So I had these speakers sitting down in the um, basement. So I said, okay, they were busted, but let me see, can I repair them? So I actually, what I did, I ended up ordering a foam kit from Simply Speakers. I'll put the information um, in the description below. And what comes in that foam kit in that foam kit is two foams for two speakers, some glue, and um, a little brush. So um, and also I, to learn how to do it, I watch I watch two videos actually. I watch a video from Jordan Peer, and also a video from um, Yo Bay. I kind of take the best of both worlds um, in doing my job here. All right, here we go. <laughs> Okay, I'm taking the screws out to get the cone out of the uh, cabinet there and pulling off the wires. One thing I did, I put a twisty in the um, black terminal so when I put it back together, I would know, you know, where the black wire goes. But I read after I did this, I read somewhere that the cables are made such that they will only fit on the terminal they're supposed to go on. But hey, like I said, I'm just the average Joe Blow. First thing, you know, see I'm getting the old foam off, you know, with the utility knife there. Now I'm getting some alcohol. And kind of the alcohol is supposed to dissolve some of the glue or what have you, make it easier for you to get some of the old, the old foam off. I don't know, maybe the next time I may use a better accelerant. <laughs> all right, now I got it all off. I'm getting ready to um, put the foam on right there. I'm just trying to see how it fits. If you look at the other two videos I mentioned, um, they both recommend put in there for the first when you're gluing the foam to the cone to put the glue on the um, foam and not the cone and not the cone. Yeah, patting it down some. All right, there you go. I got it in there. I'm rubbing my hands around it to get it right. Then also I put my hand up under the cone to kind of shake it a little bit, you know, tap it so it can sit, sit in there correctly. You can't tell, but I also have my finger pushing the cone up and I have the tip of the glue up under the foam. Now, now I'm gluing the foam to the, um, back to the frame there. Look at that, it looks pretty good. Look just like new. <laughs> Right, putting it back in the cabinet so I put the washer on there's a washer in between the cone and the frame in the cabinet I took the twisted tie off putting the terminals back to the wires screwing it all back together and once I got everything together actually the speakers sounded pretty decent but don't forget they were surround speakers so that I don't get the audio file quality that I normally get so I may keep them we'll see Okay, as you see, I'm in the kitchen and I'm not getting ready to fix something to eat. Actually, what I'm getting ready to do is to fix something to um, drink. As you know, Rona is, is here, so like I said, I work from home, so I'm sheltered at home. I'm quite sure several of you have um, participated in these Zoom virtual happy hours or uh, what have you. And um, usually everyone have, have a drink or something. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a drink here just Make it with something I already um, have. So I virtually, I really just looked at my little, I guess, bar supply, which is <laughs> not much, and just saw what I had. So anyway, what I'm going to make, I'm going to make a uh, Chamburg, 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 how do I pronounce this? A Chamboard, there it is right here, a Chamboard, meh. Manhattan. All right, here I go.
I made a drink for the next virtual happy hour. Schellenberg Manhattan. All right, let me see how it tastes. Actually, it's pretty good. Actually, it's pretty good. All right. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And as my daughter would say, y'all be safe out there in them streets. All right. Thank you.